Let's just talk about the HVAC contractors and why I niche down. The saying, the riches are in the niches. That's right. right? And so for contractors, some of them are just becoming ductless specialists. They go, that's all I want to do. I can build a healthy business doing that. And good on you. They are the happiest customer. They give you rave reviews. They refer you like crazy. They're happy. I like to say, push the happy button. But when you look at the HVAC contractor and they're one of the problems for the industry is the search terms are so huge. We in one of our, for one of our contractors, we had them ranking on over a thousand map listings. Now Google doesn't come out and tell you, oh, for the HVAC industry, we have X amount of map listings available. You have to discover it. But when we saw that we had a thousand, cause we rank these things and we track them. <laughs> I was talking to my SEO and I go, who knew that there was a thousand map listings for HVAC. So it's like this big, huge, vast. And so then you have, then the contractor comes my way. I go, tell me what your priorities are because in your industry, <laughs> there's just so many keywords to go for. So where do you make yeah. the most money and what's your biggest priority? And what do you have the skill set for? So when I do SEO, it's about prioritizing it. Now let's get to your podcast. I always like to say there's a ripple effect. So you're doing a podcast for business owners in Savannah. And so that's your lane. And so be in that lane, but you will have a ripple effect because every business owner that you teach, right. To do a, there's that ripple effect where they might come back to you and realize that you're a heating and cooling company and, oh yeah, he's the podcast guy. <laughs> and, so now, yeah. and so the interconnectedness of things is really important for me. When I speak to contractors about how big is your online footprint? Are you big foot? Are you little foot? Right? You could have the biggest website and still only have one, one thing, one, yeah. one asset showing up. Whereas opposed what I do with my offsite stuff, I do video marketing. I do press releases. Just my top contractors get a landing page in the ductless directory. All of those things show up on the first page of search. And so what I do which kind of leads me to who is the ductless guy? Some people think it's the biggest contractor and it's not, it's the smart, it's the one with the smartest marketing, right? Yeah. Sometimes as a smaller contractor, it's nice because you can get super, I don't want to use the word niche again, but you can get super focused on a particular topic. Like I have some friends of mine who are doing building science and they're just like, Sure, they can do air conditioning. They can change out your HVAC system. They can do, maybe they can, they're plumbers or electricians, but they really know building science. And yeah. that's their thing is they want to improve the healthiness of a home versus just changing, swapping out air conditioning units. So you can be that same person, but on the ductless side of things as well. Like you, whenever people have issues with ductless, like a friend of mine, Devin, he's in North Carolina. And when there's a VRF issue, like they send him to Florida, all over the country to fix these issues from this particular manufacturer, because he's that guy, you can definitely become that. And you don't have to be a massive company. Devin happens to have a large company, but some of the other guys that are doing building science, some of them are small companies. Some of them are larger companies, yeah. but like you said, you don't have to be that massive company. No, many of uh, companies that I consider to be the ductless guy, are smaller, medium sized contractors. Some of them came to me and they go, am I too late? I really feel like I really want to get on board with the ductless. And I go, no, if you play the same game that everybody else is playing, then yeah, then it's going to take some time. But when you want instant results, because what I'm doing is so different and powerful. No, I can get you immediate results. And so I like, yeah, there's a lot of contractors that wonder if they've been too late and you're just not, you have to play a smarter game. That's what I bring to the table. We have videos as an example that pop up to the search result. I had one video in a territory pop up to the search re top number one in the search in 10 minutes. <laughs> After posting it. <laughs> it's crazy. So this is a whole big home services organization that decided they wanted to get an HVAC. And so they turned to me and they said, well, we really are interested mostly in the ductless aspect. So I built them a website and we got it ranked. And then I put them in the ductless directory. So here they are new to HVAC. And the operations manager called me and he said, I want to tell you that we just closed a deal on a ductless and the consumer 
told us why she chose us. And I said, do tell. She went and did a Google search. Douglas heat pump or Douglas mini split, whatever she said in the in this town. And she said, you were on the map, so that was good. And I saw your website, brand new, by the way, on the first page of search results because it's in the Douglas directory. That's how powerful it is. She says, but you're different because I found the Douglas directory. And then I found this video. I found all these other places that referenced you. And so I thought you must be the Douglas company to work with. Oh, she that did makes not sense. get three quotes. She called them because she wanted the leader. And, she had the authority. And the online footprint. Yeah. So when I come into a territory for one of, on behalf of one of my clients, the Douglas directory shows up in their territory. Then my videos show up in the territory. The video tops the search. And then if I do two and three videos, Google puts in a Google carousel of three videos. Guess what happened? Somebody got pushed off the first page of search results because I'm taking it over on behalf of my client. Yeah, for that carousel. Yeah. So the three videos show up and then their listing page shows up and then the Duckless directory itself shows up in a territory. And before they know it, contractors that used to be on the first page are on the second page. And there's my client dominating the search and getting the leads and <laughs> building the rapport so, in the territory as the Duckless guy. It's really a beautiful thing. So you're, you do a lot of mainly organic, is that correct? Less pay-per-click or paid ads? Yeah, n I um, yeah, I'm just going to stay in my lane. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> it's Josh, Josh has told me that several times. He's like, if you want to do, if you want to be amazing at pay-per-click, you need Go. to talk to this person. Yeah, you know. I like the organic for these reasons. Pay-per-click, the money is spent and gone like that. Yeah. And getting, I like building strong foundations. So when you get in the Duckless directory, you get that valuable backlink and it helps you with your map listings. And the same thing with the website. I'm doing very few websites these days. I'm pouring pretty much my heart and soul into the Duckless directory. But when I decide uh, to do someone's website, yeah, we deploy from the ground up. SEO is from the ground up. Sometimes I get websites and people want me to take them over and I look at it and I go, boy, howdy. Yeah. What happened under the hood? Like on the surface, that was a nice looking website. Now we right. go, what's happening underneath here? Yeah. And the thing about it is if you do spend a lot of time building that very strong foundation and getting the proper backlinks, not paying for junk backlinks, when Google does an update, when there's an update that's performed across these different search engine platforms, it doesn't affect you. If anything, it might make you better. Our website, the Service Business Mastery website, it actually, Google did an update and it was hurting a lot of people, but our rankings shot up because of the long form content that we have on our page every single week. Because penalties happen, updates happen. So when you build from the ground up and you build it solid, it's really good.